Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be studying about digital signals. So in the previous two videos, we had studied what are analog signals, what are periodic, non-periodic signals, the phase, wavelength, bandwidth, and most of these properties like pre peak, amplitude, frequency, period were related to an analog signal. Now, information can also be transmitted in the form of digital signals. So, most like most commonly when digital signals are used for data transmission or in uh, network communication, the digital signals are non-periodic in nature. Whereas in contrast, analog signals which are periodic in nature are used for data communication. Now, uh, there are different ways in which information can be represented using digital signals. So, for example, one uh, way can be we can represent two bits of information. See, bits means the uh, 0 and 1 that are understood by the computer. So, uh, basically, we can represent 1 as a positive voltage and we can represent 0 as a zero voltage. So this is one method of representation as shown here. So in this particular case, in this particular diagram, what is happening is, see, there are two levels where uh, the two levels of this digital signal. This is level one, say, which is at a higher voltage and this is level zero, which is at zero voltage. So what we can do, since there are two levels, we can represent two different kinds of information. That means two bits. So if I'm representing level one with one bit and level zero represents zero bit, then using two levels, we are representing two different bits in this particular digital signal. Okay, so digital signals can be uh, represented or they consist of levels and each level represents some form of information and this information is generally in the form of bits okay now how many levels are present determines how many bits will be representing each level so for example this is another digital signal that consists of one two three and four so it consists of four different levels this is level one say this is level two this is level three and this is level four so notice carefully that this particular digital digital signal does not have any level which is representing zero voltage rather two levels represent two different levels of or two different values of positive voltage whereas the remaining two levels represent two different values of negative voltage since there are four levels so four different types of information or four different combination of bits can be represented using these four levels and four different combinations can be formed by two bit combinations so we can represent level 0 with bits 1 1 level 2 can be represented with bits 1 0 level 3 can be represented with bits 0 1 and level 4 can be represented with bits 0 and 0 okay so it is very important for you to know that if a signal consists of l number of levels if a digital signal consists of l number of levels it will require log l base 2 number of bits to represent all these levels okay so in this case we had two levels so log 2 base 2 was equal to 1 okay so l is 2 we have two levels so how many bits will be represented in each level one bit now we have four levels so log four base two will give you two that means each level is representing two bits or we can say two bits of information can be uh, saved can be transmitted at each level okay so now coming to uh, two important concepts of bit rate and bit length. 
Now, uh, in the analog signal, when we uh, studied about them, we studied the concept of period and frequency. But when we talk of digital signals, we do not talk in terms of frequency, rather we talk in terms of bit rate. So bit rate basically defines the number of bits sent per second. That means the amount of information that is transmitted per second and the unit is also bits per second which is also known as bps in the short form this is bps okay so uh, for example if you have to download a five pages from the internet such that each page consists of 20 lines and each of the line consists of 15 characters where one character consists of eight bits so what will be the bit rate so ultimately what you have to do you have to convert the information that is given to you in the form of bits so what would be the bit rate 5 multiplied by 20 because 5 pages each consisting of 20 lines each line consisting of 15 characters and each character occupying 8 bits if you have to download 5 pages per second then this will be the bit rate per second okay so this will uh, come around uh, 12000 bps now uh, let's come to uh, the last topic for this lecture which is bit length now similar to wavelength in case of analog signal we have bit length in case of digital signal so what is bit length Bit length is the distance that is occupied by one bit on a transmission media. So basically how much distance one bit will take when it is getting transmitted on a uh, wired or wireless media is known as a bit length. And since it is a length that means it is kind of a distance. So its formula will be given by speed into time that means the propagation speed multiplied by the bit duration okay so uh, this was the concept of bit length and bit rate when we are dealing with digital signals you need to keep these concepts in mind especially this particular formula that how many levels govern how many bits are present in that particular signal okay so that's all for today's video i hope you've understood these concepts if you like this video please let us know in the comment section below Thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam